okay guys so i'm about to start working on it again it's getting late again but it's the only time i can work on this car and i start removing all this stuff here i have to remove the downpipe today because i'll be cleaning it from rust and uh you know painting it and stuff like that and then i have to remove the starter so this uh right front wheel is off okay um and right now i'm gonna get going i'm gonna I remove this downpipe and in the meantime I'll be able to actually also replace uh, the idler arm because it's bad I'll replace that as well uh, while I'm here and then uh, I need to remove this downpipe clean it prepare it preserve it paint it and all that stuff and I'll be doing the same to the rest of the exhaust system okay so I still have a lot of work but and uh, working time okay uh, I need to get this done so let's get started okay I'm uh, under the car right now uh, I already removed this bracket this uh, u-clamp I'm holding the downpipe in and here's the um, idler arm that I'll be replacing it's bad and then right there here's the starter okay and I'm just gonna remove Downpipe. You don't really need to, but I'm still I'm gonna remove the downpipe because I need to clean it and you know paint it and all that stuff, protect it. So either way, but if you're just replacing the start, you don't have to remove the downpipe. Uh, there are just a couple of bolts here and there. Remove the harness. It's actually probably easier to see from right here. All the starter harness, and then there's some heat shields that I have to remove. And on top of the downpipe, there are uh, three 12 millimeter nuts that you have to you have to remove it's pretty easy uh, okay uh, yeah it's right there so uh, it's a little tight fit here but uh, you know I'll have to take this thing out and you know uh, take care of it okay I have a brand new starter coming in the exhaust uh, downpipe is almost ready to come out everything is unbolted and everything is also unbolted right here and also the center bracket right there is unbolted so I'm about to drop this thing and take it out of the car. I got the downpipe out, I had to spray some PB Blaster on there, it's been on there since forever, since 1985 and I'll be cleaning this thing, making it nice, painting it, cleaning all the rust off and this bracket right here as well so we'll get into that and uh, Right now, I'll show you how easy it is to see the starter right there. I'll take the starter out and uh, uh, we'll be good to go. And then I can check the flywheel teeth. Here's the starter from the bottom. I already undid the uh, wires coming to it. Okay, there's a 17 millimeter nut on the main cable and there's a small Phillips uh, screw holding the cranking wire in. And uh, well, as you can see, it's soaking because the, some of the PV blaster just, just spilled out because I was soaking that exhaust downpipe. Anyways, uh, there are gonna, there's gonna be a bracket down there you have to undo. There's like a couple 10 millimeter bolts. I don't know if you can see well or not, but it's right there, okay? So you have to undo that and then you have to undo two uh, main bolts right there okay you can get to them pretty easy now and they're actually 10 millimeter allen it's easy to get to this one but the top one uh, it's harder to get to i'll show you what you have to do you have to grind out 10 millimeter allen key uh, to get to that bolt and you also have to make sure that all the bolt holes are clean and uh you know make sure that the socket goes all the way in and the bit so nothing gets broken or nothing gets stripped all right so this is what you do to the bottom bolt you just you can use a regular 3 8 ratchet and undo the bolt uh, and then the top one you'll have to use an allen key that's ground down okay guys right there the top bolt as you can see I have a quarter inch ratchet uh, and I'll show you another shot from the top but uh, I'll show you how I did it um, and as you can see I'm not using the allen key I'm using a quarter inch 
ratchet and I'll show you how I did all that and uh, those bolts are pretty tight so I also use this is a 10 millimeter deep socket and uh, 3 8 extension and this actually fits over this guy pretty well and then I can just turn this thing okay so the bolt is almost out I'll show you again on some from the top how the setup looks like so here's my ratchet and the bit right there hopefully you can see it uh, once I take it out I'll show you once again it's gonna be a lot easier to see but uh, it's all there okay um, that's the top bolt so the starter is finally out and right now what I'm doing is I'm checking the teeth on the flywheel and uh, just to make sure that all the teeth are okay and nothing got damaged or scored and you always want to make sure so what I'm doing right now is I'm turning the engine clockwise with uh, from the crankshaft pulley with a 27 millimeter socket and I'm you know watching or I'm underneath watching those uh, teeth of the flywheel uh, to make sure all of them are good and um, all of them are good I already checked but I'll show you a couple shots but um, uh, you could see that some of uh, it's got a little bit of the scoring on the outside not really on the teeth much but just kind of like on the edge of the teeth on, of some of them from the starter because the starter is bad actually um, and uh, uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, there's nothing, no teeth mi missing or anything like that. I mean, and nothing really sheared. Uh, everything looks pretty good. So let me show you in a little bit and uh, just so you guys can see how the teeth look. Okay, can you guys see the teeth? All of them are pretty good. Uh, just a couple of them have those like shiny spots. That's from the starter uh that was going bad okay uh but let me just turn it really quick uh i'm about to turn the crankshaft uh and we will see how the rest of them look going clockwise as you can see and they're all nice and good no problems Okay, so I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna be installing brand new starter and we shouldn't have any more problems. Uh, everything should be great after we install a new starter. So, just keep on going all the way around 360 degrees. Make sure you check all the teeth and uh, all of them look very good. So, I'm happy about that just uh, some scoring on some of them but that's like I said that's from the starter that was going bad okay and uh, here's a, a ratchet right there on the crankshaft pulley and uh, I'm using a deep 27 millimeter socket and just a uh, uh, half inch ratchet on there and that's it fits really good no issues okay um, and yeah uh, it's past 10 p.m. right now and uh, just finished uh, messing with the starter just uh, you know took it out and then I uh, have to wait for a new one right now and uh, I will finish this job up but yeah, I wrapped it up right now uh, and put the wheel back and this is the, the part of the exhaust that's getting supported right now by the bucket because downpipe is out and uh, other stuff. So, big projects, you know, with, uh, with this baby. So, we need to get her going. We need to save classic Benzes, guys. Save them all, okay? So yeah, like I said, this is going to be my dad's gift and uh, I just uh, want to go pretty much through everything on this car. And just so he has to do, uh, you know, as less of work on it as possible. So 
All right, so this is what I used to remove the starter uh, motor bolt, especially like specifically the top one. So I use a 10 millimeter uh, hex and as you can see, it's just a bit. So what I did is actually there was a socket on it. It looked like this. So I just hammered out this bit. Okay, I'm using this bit and then I'm using 10 millimeter, uh, quarter inch socket, quarter inch extension and a quarter inch ratchet and that thing works amazing actually and also besides of this besides using the ratchet you can also try to use a wrench it's a 10 millimeter wrench so you would just put this on a bolt and you would put a 10 millimeter wrench here and then you would just turn it and it's amazing you know it works really well or as i said as i said you can buy a 10 millimeter allen key and you can cut it shorten it and then you can do it that way as well but I feel like my method uh, by uh, you know using this is actually pretty uh, good and uh, I'm actually happy and uh, you know it just uh, took some patience and uh, a little bit of frustration but I was able to get it out and all that.